The health authorities confirmed 16 new COVID-19 cases in Malta after 1,502 swab tests were carried out in the 24 hours leading up to noon. Active cases of coronavirus in Malta have now reached 215, as no one has recovered from the virus. Five of the new cases identified between today and yesterday relate to persons who attended the Santa Venera feast, while two others tested positive from the Parcheville group. It was pointed out that five cases are linked with cases already identified by the health authorities, while the rest are sporadic cases. The COVID-19 situation in Malta will be discussed during a meeting of the Malta Council for Economic and Social Development requested by the Prime Minister. The meeting will take place this Thursday. In a statement, the Office of the Prime Minister said that the decision to address the meeting was taken at the end of a cabinet meeting. Government said that the situation remains stable and that it will keep taking decisions with the sole aim of bettering the quality of life for all. The Chamber of Commerce has proposed lowering of VAT to 7% for the tourism and hospitality industries. It has also suggested that the wage supplements to workers in the private sector should be kept until a COVID vaccine is administered to all. These proposals are just two of many made by the Chamber's think tank and which uh, have found their way in a final report which is meant to guide the authorities and the economy to a post-COVID situation. There is intense speculation in the Spanish media about the whereabouts of embattled former monarch Juan Carlos after his shock announcement on Monday that he was leaving the country. The 82-year-old, who was targeted by a corruption probe, announced the move in a letter posted on the royal website. It gave no details about his destination, but some reports suggest he has gone to the Dominican Republic. Juan Carlos said he would be available if prosecutors needed to speak to him. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.